Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So I have another Worth It or Worthless for you guys. As you guys know, this year I've been trying to use what I have, things that I haven't shown you on camera that are brand new, either gifts, things that I've purchased in the past that have never seen the light of this camera or these lights in general. So I've been trying to update you guys as best as I can with uh, all the products that I do have that I have not shown any love to on camera. So that's my series on this. If you're curious about a specific product that I haven't shared with you guys, I may have already done its own individual review on it, or I have showcased it in a different type of video. Other than that, if you haven't seen the product, it'll be in here, I'm most likely sharing it with you guys, whether these products are worth it or worthless. So I do have quite a few products to share with you guys. And let's get right into it. All right, so let's start out with this one. This is the uh, Stila Glu uh, Shimmer and Glow, and this is in the color Carefree. So this was gifted to me by my friend Drea. I think I have one more to share with you guys, and then I think I'm officially done with testing these out. So this color right here really took me by surprise. Seeing it in the actual tube, I thought this was going to be more of a rose gold with a bit of, like, a rosy pink with a gold and this is like a true peachy type of shadow like this is really true peachy I liked it. it it shocked me I didn't expect that I didn't like this is a lot brighter than what it is in the tube in my opinion and I don't really see that gold that you see in the actual tube transfer out on this shadow my thing is with this is it's sheer just like the blue one that I reviewed in another worth it or worthless maybe the last one or the previous one to that it is sheer so I do have to build it up or you do have to put a base to it and that's the only downfall with this specific shade as well as the one in the blue. Would I recommend this? I think there are better ones out there honestly. I will still get use out of it because I think it is a pretty shade. It's just you're going to be that opaque. I want you to be that opaque on my eyes. I think that if you don't want a lot of color payoff you might like the shade or if you like the color in general you might like this one but if you are looking for that Stila bam type of look or response from an actual eyeshadow this one will be for you uh i don't think this is completely worthless but i don't think it's worth it either so that's my thoughts on this one i will still get use out of it it's just if i personally was purchasing it i don't think i would get that one this highlighter was gifted to me by my friend Lisa and oh my lord. This is from Bodyography and one of you guys <laughs> mentioned to me that it is on the bottom of this which is good because I didn't even know. This is called From Within. So this is what the actual highlighter is. This is a gelée formula. You guys, this is one of those amazing type of highlighters that look amazing on the cheeks amazing it does not accentuate anything on my face it looks like it's a gorgeous glowing goddess within it's like that beautiful jlo glow oh my goodness i did not expect to enjoy this as much as i did honestly this is something that i would expect from a high-end brand one of those luxury brands and you guys this is worth everything everything i would absolutely purchase this if it wasn't gifted to me it is stunning she was not kidding this is absolutely beautiful beautiful absolutely 100 percent worth it if it's still available and you are interested in bodyography this is one of those top products that i would recommend this one and their glitter pigments i've tried other things from them i don't think they're worth it but this yes it is absolutely worth it. All right, another highlighter that I have, this is the Maybelline Chrome Highlighter in Knockout. This one took me by surprise. This one reminds me of the peach version that they had, but this one has more of a rosy type of, it's, it's different. It's like a pinky rosy shade, and I 10 times like this a lot more than that peachy one that I think it was like peach topaz, I forget what the name was. They came out with it, it is permanent in their line. I feel like this one is more muted and works better on my skin tone than that one did. That one really looked like a peach streak on my cheek and this one just looks amazing on the cheeks. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Look how gorgeous that is. It's a glow within. If you like the Maybelline highlighters, this is something you might like. I think this was limited edition, so I'm not sure if it's still available anywhere. But if you can get your hands on it and you do have light to medium skin tones, even a deep dark, 
I think you can get away with using this. This is gorgeous. It's like that rose gold type of highlighter. It's not super gold, but it's not super pink or peachy. It's right in between the perfect color. Absolutely worth it. I'm so happy that I did pick this up and use my budget for this when I did. Last highlighter. This is the... Uh, Ulta Illuminator. This is in Pink Diamond. I already had uh, reviewed the Unicorn one. I think that's what it was, it was called. And years ago, I had the Yellow Diamond. I wasn't really a fan of that one. It was white, but it looked very yellow on the cheek, so I did get rid of that one. I did uh, share with you guys the Prismatic Unicorn. I think that's what it was called. And it's like a duochrome. Super subtle, but it is powdery. This one is called Pink Diamond. This one is the subtle version of this one as you guys can see. It's the same type of hue on your cheeks, but it is more of a subtle highlight. Oh, I, by far this is my favorite one. Out of all the Ulta ones, this is by far my favorite one. Can you guys see that? It is beautiful. It is still thick and it is still powdery, but when you put it on your cheeks, it is so beautiful. I absolutely love this one. This one is definitely my favorite. Out of all the Ulta highlighters, this one is my favorite. It just looks so beautiful on my skin. Look at that. It's just, it's that subtle glow within. It's so beautiful. I really, really like it. You do have to be careful because it is powdery and thick. Depending on the brush that you use, you might end up with it being very thick. So you have to really blend it in and it lasted all day. All these highlighters lasted all day long. Some of them faded. They all looked more beautiful as I wore it throughout the day. I would recommend this one. Out of all of them, at the Ulta brand, this is the one that I would absolutely recommend. It is worth it 100%. I am willing to declutter the duochrome one that I did in the other Worth or Worthless just to keep this one. This one's definitely my favorite. And last but not least, I have three blushes. These were gifted to me from Lisa. This was a holiday collection. This is from Quo. They're the Sweet Cheeks Blush in Lady Lush. Coral Crush, and this one is called Baby Blush. Now these are split pans. You get a lighter shade as well as a deeper type of shade on each of them, as you guys can see here. So you can mix and match or use them separately or mix them together, however you guys want. These are all completely matte and the colors are really pretty. Like this one attracted me the most, so I thought I would enjoy these. Now you guys can see here, they are completely matte. And they are very, very pigmented. These are very, very pigmented blushes. I, unfortunately, did not like these at all. The reason why I didn't like these is not because of the color. It's because of the actual formula. This is such a thick powder. It feels like a face setting powder. It reminds me of the Remel Stay Matte Powder. It's so chunky. Can you guys see that? Look at the thickness and the chunkiness of these. As much as I tried to use different brushes, try to blend them out, uh, use different techniques with these. I could not make these work on my cheeks. They look exactly like the swatches did, completely like the swatches did. This one, I tried to mix that whiter shade to kind of lighten up this one because they're very, very pigmented, but my gosh, these are so, these are terrible. I would not recommend these at all. These are absolutely worthless. I already spoke to Lisa about it. She completely said it's okay. She understands that everything's going to work. These just are not at all what I know Quo can do. I own Quo blushes and these are not it. These are just, look at this, like that is just a chunky hot mess. I cannot, no, 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 no. And this one was by far the worst one because it was easy for me to use, but it was so light it looks so thick on my cheeks. Like it, it looked like a, a bunch of powder just got caked on my face. And it, no matter what I did, I could not blend it out. It looked, there was one point where I actually took off my whole makeup because I just did not like it. Look at that. It's just so bad. I'm sorry. I don't like these. These would only work for somebody who has the perfect skin who could use a little bit of matte on their cheeks because they're very oily and don't need a lot. The, the formula is way too thick for these. You No, I'm sorry, Quo. You really, really dropped the ball on these. Beautiful shades, but nope, I am not, not recommending these at all. If you find these on sale, there is a reason why they were on sale. These are just terrible. The color's gorgeous. Formula, 
was completely missed on these. All right, you guys, so that is it for my worth that are worthless. I didn't have much this uh, time around. I've been using a lot of my products, the new stuff, and reviewing it for you guys. I will, again, accumulate more things, I am sure, for another worth that are worthless. I know you guys enjoy this series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will list and link anything that is still available to be purchased. I don't know if some of these were only holiday collections that you can't get anymore, but I will do my best to try to find them online. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in another video, most likely to tomorrow and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys!